What's up guys, GT here. So if you're a Fractal Audio user, you might already know that there is a series running on the Fractal Audio forums called The Gift of Tone, where Fractal Audio is sharing blocks for the Axifix 3, FM3 and FM9 from legendary guitar players such as Steve Y, Leon Todd and even John Petrucci. But obviously there's nothing for the Axifix 2 because it's a legacy product by now. But that's what I'm here for, right? I woke up this morning and I saw blocks from John Petrucci being shared and I was like I gotta get my hands on those and share it with you guys because what better gift for Christmas than free blocks from the legendary player himself John Petrucci. Now I did look at Cooper Carter's video and I tried to recreate those blocks for you in the Axifix 2 and I'll put links in the description box below so that you guys can download it. So let's get into the Axifix 2 and let's see how those blocks sound. All right, so I've got Axe Edit in front of me and we look at four blocks in total. All of these blocks are actually delays uh, which are shared from John Petrucci's Axe 3 unit directly. Really excited, let's look at the first one. This one's gonna be for a clean tone. Most of these are gonna follow the dual delay sort of a concept that uh, Petrucci uses a lot in his Axe 3 unit. But the first one is the one for a clean tone. This is a clean tone I made a while back on the channel. If you're interested, there's a video for this one as to how this pre preset is made on the channel. So I'm not gonna go through the preset in detail, but this is how it sounds. I've got the piezo turned on as well. So this is how the preset sounds without the delay block at the moment. Sounds good enough without it, but let's look at the delay block. Now, by the way, all of these blocks are gonna be in parallel because they are gonna be set with 100% mix. So make sure you use them in parallel and parallel only and not in series. So let's turn on the block. Now, this is actually a stereo tape delay with a time set as 545 milliseconds. The mix is at 100%. Feedback's quite high on both ends and the ratio is around 75%. So you get that ping pong sort of a feeling going around. So this is how it sounds. So with that delay now, let's play that part again. That sounds beautiful. I've also got a flanger in here, so if I turn that on and let's hear how this part sounds now. That sounds really cool. So that's pretty much the delay for the clean tone. So that's the one that's been shared. You can as provide this as a separate block as well. It's gonna be named as Petrucci medium delay. That's the one you wanna use for the clean tone. Let's jump over to some dirty tones and let's listen to some lead sort of delays that he has. This is a preset that I made for 2C plus uh, amp in there. Very simple, it's got a drive block here little bit of boost to the amp with the T808 overdrive. We've got an amp with this sort of settings. Uh, the GEQ is like this. The cab is a stereo sort of a cab setup with two V30 Petrucci stock cabs mic'd with R121 and 421 as per Petrucci setup. Uh, in the advanced section, I've got the high cut and low cut like that. So this is how the preset sounds at the moment. <laughs> Definitely chugs, doesn't it? <laughs> That's what we're here for. I've got a chorus block in there as well, so if you turn that on, you can do stuff like Metropolis. <laughs> Anyways, 
is enough of that. I've got two delay blocks all over here. We'll actually look at three delay blocks, but let's start with the first one, which is a long delay. This is going to be named as Petrucci long delay or delay long. I don't know how I named it, but yeah, that's the one you want to use here. It's a dual delay, as I explained earlier. Most of these are going to be dual delays now. This one's a 500 millisecond and 996 milliseconds. It's a bit tricky. It's not exactly 1000, so it's not double. Uh, you've got the feedback set up like that. So there's a good amount of feedback happening on the left. And the mix is 100%. The levels is as per taste, uh, minus 9 dB to avoid any clipping. So this is how it sounds. The, this is the repeats. <coughs> I forgot to turn on the block. So these are the repeats. So let's hear some parts from a solo, but let's switch off the chorus block first. Let's hear how this sounds. That sounds incredible, right? So that's the first delay. The second one, let's switch that off. The second one is sort of a short delay, actually. This one's going to be Petrucci short delay. This one's, again, a dual delay, but it has a 450 millisecond and 700 millisecond kind of a setup, pretty much similar to what we had in the long delay. But the feedback is slightly lower, I believe, in this one. Again, mixes at 100% and the level is as per taste, minus 9 dB to avoid any clipping. Now, I did not see anything from Cooper uh, in his video in the advanced section, such as the EQ or the other parts of modulation, etc. I'm assuming there's nothing there, but I've reached out to my friends from the Axe 3 world to see if they can send me some screenshots from other parts, if there are any things that need to be added. I'll share those with you guys as well and modify the blocks accordingly. So this is how the delay sounds. Now I would use this in a context where the notes are being really played fast, perhaps a fast run or maybe the notes where you know, they are flooding by and they're not really slow. But if you want soaring lead sounds, I would recommend you use the first block that I showed you. So this is the second block. The third and final block is actually a one from the Astonishing album, which is uh, really amazing because just the exact same block they recreated while recording the Astonishing album. Now, I haven't worked out much of the solos from the Astonishing album. That whole album was played on a mostly on a seven string and I don't have a seven string as you know, so I kind of skipped working out one of the, many of the tracks from there. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and apply that delay. So I'm going to choose the Astonishing delay from here. Uh, that's the block I want. Now it's going to change a few settings and turn on the block as well. Uh, time left is 444 milliseconds, time right is 740 milliseconds and the feedbacks are set accordingly like that. Uh, crazy stuff happening here, but you know, in short, this is how the repeat sounds. That sounds pretty cool. So let's hear how the sounds actually. butchered that solo didn't I but you get this idea of this delay right it's a really amazing sounding delay let's play a little bit more on this I've actually spent quite a lot of time <laughs> playing these blocks since the mornings hence perhaps my fingers and hands a little tired to be honest <laughs> Well, I hope you guys like those blocks and let me know in the comments as to how they sound on your gear. 
I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. I of course will be seeing you in the next year. I'm planning to travel to India soon and I will be sharing some clips from there. So I won't be very active in terms of tone quest because I'm leaving all of my gear here. But I will try to create some vlog sort of videos for you guys so that you guys can see how I'm enjoying myself over there. It's been three years since I went and met my family so I'm really looking forward to this trip. Fingers crossed. Also, if you want to support the channel monetarily, you can check the links in the description box below as to how you can contribute towards my PayPal. And in return, I'll give you a shout out in my upcoming videos as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, give this video a like, comment your thoughts below. And if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe for more free stuff on the channel as always. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. Keep rocking. Cheers. Bye-bye.